Hey team, thanks for coming to take a look at another video back with me, your boy Phaedred, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do an Atlas to-do guide, or an Atlas starter guide today. So, I want to go ahead and just jump into it, it's going to be a little bit of a longer one, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these Atlas videos, and let's go. The first thing you're going to need to know is that there are actually four different servers on the official servers. Obviously there's some unofficials as well, but official servers is what I'm going to focus on right now because that's primarily what the game's going to be about. So there's two versions of the game, there's PvP and PvE, kind of retrospective, obviously it's pretty easy to, um, to actually tell which one's which. And then there's an NA version of each of those and an EU version of each of those. I'm just going to go ahead and select EU just to show you what the next step is here because I don't have a character over here. Now. The devs have kind of made some hot patches. This may or may not change in the future, depending on how spread out people start to become. But at the moment, what they ended up doing is they ended up in uh, increasing the map spawn sections that you can actually spawn into. So you can spawn into these things called lawless regions. However, I would be very, very careful about spawning into these areas because they don't have a city in these sections. So if you spawn onto one of these, from what I understand, in current state of game, you're kind of stuck there unless someone comes and picks you up. So if you're meeting somebody there, you're actually just spawning there because it's a good spot to actually just, you know, get into, go and someone's going to pick you up. Great. Otherwise, try and get into one of these here, one of the free ports. The reason for that being is what I'll show you here in a minute with the actual boats and stuff, but you can't actually really build or claim land. As far as I'm aware, you know, maybe you can, but if you do, you're still level capped at level eight in all of these sections. So in the free ports and in the lawless regions, hopefully that'll be changed in the future. And if it's already changed, um, go ahead and just ignore that. Ch take a look at the patch notes just to be safe. This is only, we're only literally on the first, still in the first 24 hours of the game launching. So that might actually end up being different later on. But in the meantime, I definitely do recommend you actually select a free port, even though, you know, some of them are a little bit higher in population than the other areas. It's going to be a lot better for you long term. The other thing I'm going to recommend is that you actually go into either a western tropics or a western temperate, or it doesn't matter if it's a western or eastern I guess, but into a tropics or a temperate area. I wouldn't go into a tundra just because it's cold, you're going to die a lot if you go into those sections and uh, just make it a little bit easier on yourself and hit one of these tropic locations. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and hit this uh, one right here. We'll hit western tropics and I'll show you some more of the game. Now, typically I wouldn't really cover the character creation just because it doesn't really matter too, too much. However, I do want to note, just because this is very similar to Ark in the current situation in, in how it actually plays out, that body mass does matter. So the bigger your character model, the bigger your head, the bigger your hands, things like that, it does make a difference when you're actually in a fight. So if you're getting hit, if you're getting shot at, anything like that, if you make your character huge, you're just going to be a much, much easier target for them to actually hit or swing at or shoot at. Your head headshots do do or they do more damage than normal body shots. So I would recommend a small head, obviously. Um, things like your height actually do take into consideration as well, because if you're really, really small, while you, that's a good thing for hitbox, it is a bad Thing when you're actually trying to look over things because height does actually come into effect as far as where your camera is going to be showing up because it is based off of the, the actual height of the character so keep that in mind now the only other thing i'm really going to talk about on this one is the regions so you've already picked the zone that you're going to spawn in these are just four different islands inside that region so inside the little square map that you're actually located or you're loading into there's going to be four different ones pick the one that you want or you know if, the, if your company is, is already on one or you're you're grouping up with someone obviously pick those ones but typically what i would recommend is pick the one that you're going to be closest to getting out of and what i mean by getting out of is uh if you know you're going to be heading south to get out of the starter zone go to the southern island for example and then outside of that everything else is pretty custom so let's just jump into actual gameplay all right so very very first tip for a starter's guide what I'm going to recommend is you typically will start with either your fists out or you'll accidentally swing. So what you need to do is hit R. R will automatically take your fists and put them away. Just like that. That'll put you back into a normal stance so you can actually interact with things, not swing, etc. Now there's a couple of NPCs in the little starter spot that you actually spawn in. So this one here, if you accidentally selected the, re or the wrong region, so out of the northeast, south, and west, or if you want to go ahead and just travel to one of those other ones, you can talk to this guy. It's going to keep you in the same block that you were originally started on. So you're not going to actually change like selection cells, um, but it will actually take you to one of the other islands in that specific zone. Now, another guy over here is uh, this one here. This is the crew recruiter. So this is actually where you buy crew members once you actually get to that point in the game. That's going to be a little ways off since this is a starter guide. Or guide so uh, we're not even going to worry about that. This guy here, he actually is what's going to give you your very, very first boat, which is going to be a raft. So what you need is 75, 75 fiber, 20 hide, and 80 wood. 
Now, you'll notice down here, you have pretty much all the same stats and buffs and things like that on the bottom right that you do in uh, in Arc, with the exception of a couple of things. So, if you look at those colorful little bars over there on the top right, up your, uh, right above your experience bars, those are your vitamins. So, if you hold H, you can actually see what each one of those is. Well, a little bit. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty small. But you have A, B, C, and D. Now, what you want to try and do, just as a heads up, this is the very, very first tip you're probably going to want to make sure you keep in mind. Keep those right about in the middle. You don't want to go too high. You will get poisoning. You don't want to go too low or you'll start getting some weird effects as well, such as like blindness. You'll start fitting in and out, things like that. Um, it's literally like a balancing act. Now, if you actually start harvesting things, let's see if we can grab some here really quick. Just like in Arc, you do hit E to actually harvest stuff. However, the, it, unlike in Arc, you actually get a lot of different types of plants and there are a lot. So as an example here, we just picked up some aloe. Now, as it says here, this is a consumable, but if you'll look, there's a yellow arrow here. This yellow arrow means it will also give me yellow vitamins. Every single thing in the game has an arrow that corresponds to one of these vitamins. So as an example, orange is normal meat or normal cooked meat. Purple is usually a different type of berry or a different type of plant. And blue is usually fish. So fish meat, things like that. Um, be careful, there really aren't too many hostile animals inside the starter zone and players can't attack you but do be careful about actually cooking stuff because anyone can access your uh, your campfire like right now for example i could take that coal if i wanted to but those are kind of the very very basics now next up you do start at level one and you have absolutely nothing you can't craft anything you don't have any skills that you can learn nothing like that so you do actually have to get a full entire level up before you can do anything else one of the fastest ways to level up in this game, early game, obviously, is just collect a couple of things because you don't really have any weapons or anything to, to kill anything with. And they have fixed a lot of the lag issues that you have in the starter zone, so <laughs> you can't really count on the lag to be able to just punch a boar to death or a pig to death or a cow to death or anything like that. Uh, you can give it a shot, but um, or, you know, that would probably be okay. A sequel is probably going to be okay. But uh, go ahead and get to level 1 or level 2. I'll go ahead and do that here off camera for you and uh, we'll get that taken care of. Before I do that though, actually I'll gather a little bit more about while we do this. So your goal just at the very very beginning of the game is to get out of the starter zone. So starter zone and lawless zones are capped at level 8. So right now you, again you start at level 1 and you don't have any skill points. You don't gain anything extra. You don't gain any of the, the bonuses or anything like that. So you're not going to really need to worry about anything like that. However, you do need to get out of the zone fairly quickly. So really you can probably get up to I would say I would recommend probably level five or six and then start heading out you are gonna want to make sure you get beds you're gonna want to make sure you get rafts and things like that just so you can actually travel out and respawn at the same time so that's kind of the, the main goal and the main plan and as you start to gather while you're trying to get your first level here I would recommend starting to get some thatch and some fiber as long or along with some stone because the first thing you're gonna need to make is your pick and that's gonna require a little bit of bull so let me go ahead and level up and I'll be right back with you guys so another thing to note while I'm leveling up here guys, I wanted to show you guys this, is that dealing damage actually is the way you get experience in this game. So I actually kind of messed up here because I'm attacking a lot of these guys all at one time. But uh, dealing damage is actually how you gain experience, not by necessarily killing the creature itself. So keep that in mind while you guys are actually uh, respawning. And if you do die, you'll actually just spawn right back onto the island that you have. You don't have any beds or anything, so you just have to, you can even select one of the other islands if you want to. But uh, you can just hit respawn on uh, home bed and you'll be good to go. Another thing to keep in mind here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get over here back to my body. If it's not already gone, which it looks like it might be. I did want to show you guys the body feature, but doesn't look like my body is still here. Maybe I respawned back at the wrong one. Mm, pretty sure it was literally just right here. All right, well, typically if you die, there's a big green beam that will show you exactly where your body is. I'm not sure why that's not working this time. Maybe it's because I really am in the wrong zone. I'm not really sure, but uh, that is kind of weird. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get the rest of this up, but let's look at the level up system. So typically you can, uh, to actually get the level up itself, you do need to level one of these things here. So you can level health, stamina, fortitude, intelligence, or weight. Weight is what I'm gonna recommend early game. And the reason for that being, let's go back to the inventory, is because you do need to carry a lot of stuff. You're gonna be gathering a lot of resources early game. So intelligence actually makes it so you can basically get, uh, so it even, so let's just read it here. So once capacity to craft items quickly with additional stat bonus or bonuses, reduce the cooldown on flasks and utilizes the magical or utilization of magical skill. So basically this is just going to be a crafting skill, kind of like an arc with a couple extra perks. Then obviously you have uh, fortitude, which is going to help you increase your resistance to being knocked out and your differences when it comes to like heat and cold. Then you have stamina, clear one, and health is obviously a very clear one as well. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the skills now. So, 
skills <clears throat> basically you start with only one skill tree actually available and in that one skill tree here it's called survivalism you can actually you do get two skill points every single time you get a level up but certain things require more skill so as an example these are the first two things you can unlock and they do as you can see the arrows here they do require these to be unlocked before you can get to any of these so for example if we wanted water skin or water keeper which is just a water skin we'd have to learn base the basics first we're going to go ahead and learn the basics anyway and I would recommend you probably learn both of these to start because you do get the basic tools out of this one and the basic uh, clothing as well as the bed and then on here you get your first basic tool which is your, or your first basic weapon which is your spear and uh, if you wanted to go a different well you know what on this character we're going to go a little bit different we're going to go here and then we're going to go here just because then it shows here so if you look on here it says right in the middle it says right above the yellow requires skill it says unlocks construction and and uh mercetizal i'm not sure how you say that the discipline and when i clicked on it and i unlocked it it actually unlocked this skill tree here so all of these skill trees are typically unlocked by something else in one of these other skill trees most of which can be found in this specific skill tree um, which is the survivalism one and again if you hover over some of these they'll actually tell you exactly what it is once it's unlocked and you can click on it i can't click on these once it's unlocked and you can click on it you can actually hover over of it hover over it even without the actual image to see what it does so just keep that in mind if you're looking for something specific so you can still see that there's the names of them so as beast mastery clearly that's going to be some sort of taming or hand-to-hand -hand combat that's going to be melee things like that so those are the the kind of very very basics and uh, i'll do like a little interjection here just to show you some of the things i'm going to recommend with a little bit higher stuff up or a higher skill level up higher skills or stats or whatever you want to call it but take, let's take a look at that real quick Okay, so now with those out of the way, after you've gone ahead and unlocked your first couple of skills, and like I said, you definitely want to make sure you unlock your tools first. Once those are unlocked, they'll actually pop up down here and you can see what you'll actually need. So the first thing you're going to want to actually craft is going to be your stone pick. You need two fiber, six stone, and six wood specifically for that. So I'm going to go ahead and gather those really quick and uh, we'll take a look at the next one. Once you have enough of the resources to be able to go ahead and craft that, go ahead and get your pick and then you're actually going to start using that for your next tool, which is going to be your hatchet. The reason you get these two first is because they actually gather two different types of materials. So a pick, for example, if you use it on a tree, will get more thatch. If you use it on a rock, it will get more flint. Um, if you use it on a body, it will get more meat. If you use a hatchet on any of those, if you use a hatchet on a tree, it'll get more wood. If you use it on a rock, you'll get more stone. And if you use it on a body, you'll actually get more hide. So those two are your, your pretty much your main two abilities. And I also wanted to go ahead and cover a couple of more things. So if you actually have your resources out and you're looking for very specific resources, um, I did kind of a quick little tutorial, like a mini overview on a different island that uh, shows some different resources since we already have some basic ones here. So let's take a look at that really quick. With all the basics down now, you should have kind of a general idea of what you're going to be actually seeing in the game. So now you have two of your, your tools at the very least, and you're going to be able to start working on the next thing, which is basically going to be either A, leveling, which you can do by attacking some of these monsters, some of these creatures, or B, you're going to be trying to get off the island depending on your level at this point. I'd, again, I'd recommend getting up to maybe five or six before you start heading out, but the main goal at this point is going to be to get off the island. You can't attack anyone here if you are in a PvP zone. If you're in a PvE zone, you're not going to be able to attack anyway, but your resources are limited here. You're not going to be able to do too much here anyway, so it's probably best that you get off of this island as quickly as possible. So what that means is, again, we're going to go ahead and start crafting up for a raft and for a bed. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of those here really quick. I'm going to get the materials for both, and I already showed you the materials for the raft, but the materials for the bed are 40 hide, 120 thatch, 25 wood, and 35 fiber. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these materials crafted up here really quick and just show you what the, the next stage looks like. All right, team. So I did have to end up actually going ahead and skipping ahead a little bit. And the reason for that being is because it looks like in one of the most recent patches, they disabled your body while you're inside of a starter zone. The reason for that being is because there were so many people just logging out or dying. It was really causing kind of a big issue. So it was causing a lot of lag, like a ridiculous amount of lag. You would spawn into the zone and there would be like 100 people you could see just laying around the city. So uh, it looks like they disabled that. So be careful when you're actually trying to get hide or anything there. I would be really, really careful about it because you don't want to lose all the progress that you've been getting trying to get to your boat and or to your bed here so what i'm going to recommend at this point is uh try and attack some of the smaller stuff like seagulls or turtles in the uh, starter zone just to get your starting hide um, and that way you can uh, go ahead and level up and if you're trying to actually just level just do it without any equipment so just go and right click punch things while you're 
you're getting your first couple of levels to make it super super easy for yourself that way you don't have to worry about actually losing anything until they get this fixed again this might be fixed in a couple of days or in a couple of patches so if it's already above that point go ahead and disregard but in the meantime uh we're basically exactly where i said that you should be so at this point uh, as you can see we've got a bed here and we've got a raft the reason you do the bed is because now if you have these two things you don't need anything else you could literally be naked which i am and you could sail wherever you need to so basically the idea is now is you're trying to get as far away from the starting area as you possibly can you don't want to be in a lava zone because again those are still level capped at level eight but you do want to get out and around to the map to the point where you're outside of a lava zone and outside of a newbie city so typically you're going to have to go about two squares out which is going to be anywhere from like an hour and a half to two hours away from your starting zone you can stop in a lava zone go ahead and put like a, let's say you put a box on here or a smithy things like that farm some stuff up take a little bit of break from uh, the sailing aspect put some stuff on your actual raft and then keep sailing till you get to that zone you wanted to start with and uh, you should be good to go that's gonna be that's kind of the the basic starter structure or the the starter guide I don't want this to get too too long Maybe the only other things I would cover is uh, water. You cannot drink salt water. So any sort of sea water you can't drink and most little puddles on the mainlands are also salt water. So there's two ways that you can actually get water. The first one is uh, you can actually go ahead and find a couple of bodies of water. Typically near the starter zone, there is actually one or two or I'll let me show you the second way really quick. All right team, so if it wasn't raining like it is now, what you can actually do is you need to find a greener area. It can't be like on rock or in the actual um, sand for the most part. What you do is make sure you don't have your, well, you have your fists out, but don't actually be in fight mode. You crouch and then you left click. So as you can see right here, it actually says water is depleted in this area. Let me run around for a second and see if I can find a spot that maybe it is not depleted. So I can show you this mechanic. Basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a, a small little mini game here. Let's try here. There we go. So now you click when it pops up. It's gonna do another one. There's two. And then the maximum you can do with your fists is three. Uh, I missed the, the third one. So every time you get one of those right, you only get a chance. If you miss one, it actually gets all messed up. Uh, maybe it doesn't work in the rain. Let's try this one more time. Maybe it actually didn't pop up. Okay, one. Oh, I just completely messed that up. Let's try again. One and two and three. Okay, I don't think it's going to work since it's raining. But uh, typically what will happen is every time you get one of those right, you're going to get a little water spout that pops up right here in front of you. And then in that little water spout, basically what will happen is if you get the first one right, you'll get 20, uh, 20 water. If you get the second one right, you'll get... Uh, 40 if you get the third one right and you have to get them all right and then you'll get uh, 60 if you only get one right you will only get 20 and it still depletes the water so you do have to be careful about that and try and get those mini games down if you use a shovel to do the same thing you'll play the same mini game you can actually get up to I think it's like 900 water so it's actually much more worth it to use a shovel because you can just keep using that spout over and over again like a little well for a little bit but uh, highly recommend it all right team so the easiest and fastest way to actually level up is to kill things. Killing things, and it seems like it's not necessarily when you kill it, it's based off of the damage you do while attacking the thing. So for example, since I can attack the crap out of this pig for a really long time, this is actually really good for me to attack because I'm doing a lot of damage. And if you look at my experience bar down there on the bottom right, it's going up really, really quickly. Did I just get a 48? I thought I got a 48. There's different areas as well that you can hit them. Um, you just have to find the sweet spots to make or to be able to do more damage, and they'll do this. So if you find little, there's like little glitchy spots like this where you can just walk up on the, the rocks, and they can't actually walk up here with you. So it makes it super easy. That's the second level I've got off this guy. Hang on. Let's go ahead and uh, level up health again really quick, and here we go. So the more damage, he's doing 11 damage somewhere. It's probably like in the head or something. Might even have like specialty into it or something but as you can see i'm almost halfway to another level here already as well so the more damage you do and uh the longer you can do damage it seems like the more experience you get i don't know exactly how it works but basically find alphas do damage to them kill them and uh gg makes it super super easy to actually oh man come on dudes anyway all right i'm gonna uh go ahead and end it right there that's a quick tip for you dudes and uh hope this helps all right team, that uh, pretty much wraps everything up. That's a, a really quick, basic, this is how you start, this is what you do. 
Now, obviously, you're going to go ahead and start adventuring. You're going to go ahead and start building up bases, start claiming land, things like that. I didn't really get into a lot of the little more nitty-gritty of that part yet, just because this really was just a, a basic starter guide. I wanted you guys to actually get in, get started, get on the right foot, and uh, know what to expect. A lot of you guys are probably watching this before you're even trying the game. So, hopefully this is a little bit more informative. Hopefully this actually gives you a good, uh, hey, this is what you should do to uh, start the game. And then, you know me, we'll probably start getting in some tips, tricks, advice, weird little glitches that we're going to give you a leg up, those kind of things in the other videos. So go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, if you guys want to know more or find out more or whatever, talk, hit up our Discord. We uh, have a lot of information passed through there as well, so check that out. Description will be in the comments below, and uh, thanks for watching, dudes. Have a great night.